the winemaker moved into the place uh, when he uh, learnt that he had two more baby boys on the way uh, mm -hmm. and so they, they found the lot um, and built a house on it and um, after putting in um, a pool uh, he realized that there was a lot more space back in the yard so he put in some vines and figured that he would uh, try his hand at winemaking and so he spent uh, now about 15 years making wine um, planted the original vines in uh, the early 2000s um, and uh, you know it was a learning process he was an amateur and uh, he entered some competitions with his wine and uh, um, just got better and better as, as, as he went along mm -hmm. um, and in 2008 he won uh, that double, a double gold for his Petit Syrah at the California State Fair where they named it the best in California and so after that he uh, transitioned into uh, commercial winemaking and so um, Old Fig Wine Cellars has been uh, a label for about five years now. He really enjoyed uh, good quality wine um, but it was not the most affordable for him and his family of seven. Mm -hmm. uh, so he thought he would give it a go and make wine himself that is of the same quality um, and at less cost to him. Right. So that was what he did it. It was his motivation to, to do something really, really well um, and, uh, and do it himself. Yeah. Um, and he's one of the people that uh, actually went for it right. and, and this is the result of it. So I came on board only this year um, and that was that was because uh, I knew the winemaker's daughter. Mm -hmm. uh, so she's a friend of mine and uh, after I graduated with my MBA from Fresno Pacific um, I was looking for something to do and I considered this a challenge to work with uh, something local mm -hmm. and my buy-in was that I was in it to uh, be a blessing to a family here and to develop something from the from the ground up um, and so that's what Old Fig uh, Wine Cellars has been doing is working from nothing and trying to create it into something and that's that's what I'm about is mm -hmm. being creative working hard. My grandfather and my uncle were both winemakers in Zimbabwe where I'm from and uh, so that that certainly played a role in, in my upbringing. Mm -hmm. um, I learned to grow vines and uh, tend grapes uh, from a young age. Yeah, so I grew up in an agricultural society, um, just like Fresno in the Central Valley. This actually makes me feel very much at home mm -hmm. um, and there's a large amount of actual nostalgia as to where I come from. At Old Fig Wine Cellars, I am the young fig and Dave is the original fig. And the way I see it is that I've somewhat been grafted uh, into the vine just like one would with an actual grapevine. And uh, I said before, he's, uh, he's a mentor to me, um, he's showing me the ropes as to how to actually make wine um, and that's something that I'm interested in. And uh, well, we keep each other accountable uh, via one or two jokes that, uh, that when things are getting a little tough we try not to take it too seriously um, because it is a bit of a challenge sometimes. Um, to uh, just to keep pushing on um, and so we actually we kind of uh, we're in each other's corner uh, when it comes to supporting uh, supporting each other and Dave is uh, one of the kindest men ever he's uh, he considers me a responsibility of his uh, and uh, I'll venture to say that I consider him a responsibility of mine I've tried a lot of South African wines and Dave's tried a lot of Californian wines so he has uh, he has the more educated palate than I do. Um, I'm still developing mine um, and uh, the thing is that uh, when you bring young and old together sometimes uh, there's this new uh, new possibilities open up because you have two different opinions uh, taken into consideration and so yeah, I don't know. We, we're, we're talking and we're debating about uh, what to add next to our wine list. Uh, there are a couple of wines. One's called a Symphony uh, wine and the other's a Rosé. I'm pretty keen on the Rosé and Dave's quite keen on the, uh, the Symphony. So uh, one way or another we'll, um, we'll find what's next and uh, come to a decision.